I'll hang around here a little more than I should. You both know I got somewhere else to go. I got something to tell you I never thought I would. I believe you really are no. Trying to do anything at all But this feeling doesn't come along every day And you shouldn't blow the chance When you got the chance to say I love ya <laughs> Mom Australia, Qantas, <laughs> oh, it's the lie. Grows and grows. With every sigh, I become more mad about you, more lost without you. And so it goes. Can you imagine how much I love you? The more I see you.
but I haven't got anything prepared. <laughs> Rick, can I have a drink, man? I'm just so dry. Were you calling him a whore? Or more? <laughs> just quite sure. We could see a whore from back behind. Actually, if you bend over a bit more, we'd be more than seeing a whore. All right. See, I told I was at 100. I came out to my parents when I was about four. I was wearing this shirt at the time. My parents were very surprised. Well, actually, nowadays, my mother gets a little bit confused because when I say to her, like, I've been sleeping with a bear, she thinks I'm having some kind of childhood regression thing. Because <laughs> when I told her that my daddy was David, she really lost the plot. <laughs> so I wrote this little song for her in the hope that she would understand a few things. I said, Mum, when you were young, life was not confused. The words you learnt in school were the ones you always used. Now, words are no longer what they seem. What you say today may not be what you mean. Gay only meant happy in the old days. Camp was just a row of tents. A poof was a footstool to rest your feet upon. Fags were in a pack of cigarettes. A pansy was a very pretty flower. Queer meant bizarre and strange. A dyke was a dam in the Netherlands. When did all of these words change? Fruit was simply a healthy thing to eat. Queens were of a royal ilk. Mince was just a certain kind of meat. Homo, a certain kind of milk. Outing was a family drive on Sundays. Drag was racing in the car. A tranny was a radio you took down to the beach. A packed lunch was a picnic in the park. A sleaze ball was nothing but grease and grime and scum. A bear was just a furry toy. I interjected at this point and I said, Mum, some things never change. <laughs> a beat was a rhythm you banged out on a drum. George Michael, remember that? <laughs> and Master was the title for a boy. Bent was something slightly crooked. Straight was a line that you could draw. KY was a question to your girlfriend. Not a suggestion from your boyfriend. <laughs> and friends of Dorothy's aren't in Kansas anymore. A fairy sat atop the Christmas tree. Cruising was travelling on ships. A big girl's blouse was a shirt from Maggie T. And Vaseline went only on your lips. <laughs> Nancy was a Reagan or Sinatra. <laughs> Lavender was just another hue. All of these new meanings, will they really last? Or is it just another stage we're going through? 
So be careful who it is that you're addressing when you tell someone they're wonderfully gay. Although the words may seem to say exactly what you mean, you may not mean exactly what you say. Thank you. Good night.